I was not the person who put my ladybug together, so when it came time for me to change the bobbin for the first time, I had actually never uh, messed with the parts and was a little nervous about that. I figured out what to do from the manual, um, which was very straightforward, but it always helps me if I can actually see something in process. So I thought I would make this little video to show you um, how to change a bobbin on a ladybug. So here I've um, just finished spinning a single and I want to remove this bobbin. So uh, the first thing I do is I uh, loosen the brake, the scotch tension a little bit. Then you reach down under here and loosen the front maiden screw. Pull the front maiden forward. Make sure you're holding on to the flyer because it could very easily um, fall if you're not holding on to it. Uh, take the drive band off. Just, uh, just leave it right there on the rear maiden. Then slide the flyer out. Pull it out of the rear maiden. Take off the whorl. Set that aside. Uh, take off the scotch band there. There's your bobbin. Then You've got your new bobbin. Make sure that the smaller end is towards you. Put uh, this end through the front maiden again. Now this is the part that I uh, always used to forget to do. Um, and occasionally, I'll admit, sometimes I still forget to do it. So you take your scotch tension band and you put it back right there again. Um, if you forget to do it, you have to take the whole uh, bobbin off again or the whole flyer apart. Wrap it around the peg there. Usually I don't take it out. It just fell out that time I knocked it out. The screw. Okay, and you just put that there. Don't forget to put the whorl on. Right there. Put the drive band back. And then get it right into that little hole in the rear maiden. It can be a little bit of play there, but then you push the front maiden back as far as it will go, and then tighten the front maiden knob, and there you go. Now you're ready to spin again.